Hello and welcome, everybody. It's going, it's Friday, it's three o'clock, or it's eight. What is it? Eight o'clock over there? 8 p.m. over here, which is why. Cheers. We got to watch the swearing for another half hour, correct? Yeah, bloody Uh, right. Oh, sorry. (laughs) So, uh, but it's Friday. This has been three Fridays in a row now, Ralph. We're getting in a habit. Although, it's looking like it's regular, but I think uh, you're not actually, available next week. <laughs> yep, I'm out of town. Um, actually, Saturday's my birthday. Next Saturday is the 20th. Oh, uh, but we're going to be up in uh, uh, Michigan, along Lake Michigan. We're going to do a bunch of stuff and have some fun. I'm going to get to go to a uh, brewery that uh, some might actually uh, enjoy, uh, might have heard of. It's called Founders, uh, those in on this side of the pond. Founders Brewery, they make a great, it's called, they make a great bourbon barrel ale. ale. Oh, love me some bourbon barrel ale. Yes. Got a great place. And they're usually about 13 to 14%. Jesus <laughs> Christ. It's not an all-nighter then. No, it's a, well, it's a sipper. It's a good yeah. sipper. Yes. Yeah. It's an all-nighter. You keep that thing going all night long. <laughs> yeah, no. See, I, I like to quaff me beer, so uh, don't want it too strong. Oh yeah. Well, and, yeah, I, I see what you're and, saying. And I usually save those for when it's a nice, cool evening, and I can just, you know, sit outside on the porch and just enjoy the. Yeah, well, we got a version of that over here. We call it special brew. It's what all this sort of alkies drink and the druggies. Okay. It's like I don't know, ten, I don't know, ten percent or something. Horrible. <laughs> too sweet. Too sweet. Yeah. So, but no, we're gonna have some fun and and do some some time. My daughter showed up. Got home yesterday. She spent a week and a half out in Phoenix, Arizona. You want to talk about hot? It was a hundred. It was one hundred and twelve yeah. degrees. Shut up with your weather over there in oh. merry old England. And I think Koi will will back me up on this. It's nearly the middle of July, and it's freezing. It's overcast. It's raining. It's like April here. It's just awful. I that that sounds wonderful to me. I'm I I love a good rainy, cool afternoon. Yes, very very much so. Oh, yeah, and he does agree with you. Terrible. So like. Expecting yeah, we've, we've. I think we're getting ours tomorrow because you're in a different part of the old, uh, old, old blighty old koi. So I think, um, but yeah, it, it's threatening. Been threatening all day. Mm. Horrible, cold, cardigan. You know, at the ready again. You know, it's uh, cardigans in July. Tony, what's going on? Yep. I don't know. I'm not big on cardigans, anyways. But oh, give, I love me a, them. give me a good hoodie or a jumper, as you guys call them. No jumpers. No, that's hoodies. Jumpers. Oh, jumpers, jumpers are the ones you pull over your head and pull down. Cardies have got the buttons normally. Cardies. I know the cardies. Yeah. So the yeah the hoodies. Give me a good hoodie and some sweatpants, and I'm I'm comfortable. Uh, I I'm I'm good to go on that one. So yeah, we we've got a name for people like that over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't live in my parents' basement either. Uh, not that that's a problem yeah. with anybody. If you do live. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so, poor old Paul. He's at the dentist. Oh yeah, where where was that? Oh yeah, actually, I'm watching this while at the dentist office waiting for my. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I did what's more, other... what's more painful, Paul, having the procedure at the dentist or watching us? <laughs> and he can actually, he'll be actually able to tell. Maybe he can no, he won't be able to say anything. All you'll hear is. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Well, I went Monday and I was good to go. So right. did X-rays. So I've got I've I, I I've got it. I've got it. <coughs> so, um, tank tops. You're showing your age, mate. <laughs> yeah, men don't wear tank tops anymore. At least not 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 the ones that I hang out. But yeah. Um. But no. Uh. I got a new package in. But let's say hi. We'll we'll, we'll quickly yeah, yeah, say yeah, hi. Yeah, we, got a, we got our usual our usual peanut gallery here. We got Nordic. We've got Ten people watching. If you haven't said hello, say hello to poor old Tony because you know he needs all the help. I really so, do. Hi everyone. Good old camp. Uh. Paul, as we mentioned. Uh. Koi as as jumped in and uh. So yeah, those are the West three Ham different. logo there. So he might be in, sort of near me. Yep. Uh, you had your one day of sun in Britain, or two weeks, yes. I think is what you Well, I don't think saying. we even had two weeks. <laughs> it's terrible. 
Well, I had a package show up today, and if I don't throw out my back, um, I'll bring it up here. But I got Old School Tactical Volume 4. This is the Italian theater. Now, do and you I, need the original one for that? No. They're nope. all standalone, are they? Yeah, they're, uh, these are all standalone. Um, they do have expansions uh, right. with that. Uh, which, <clears throat> of course, I bought the Canadians and New Zealands. You have to. The good old Anzac, you know, what will you do without us, you yep. know, us and allies? Then, and then for the, we got the bonus, which is the Americans at Anzio. So mm. there's, what, six scenarios on this? Uh, five scenarios. Five extra it's scenarios. The truth is. Yep. So um, <clears throat> I've, got, I've got all four volumes and a couple of the expansions. And so it's all good. I'm looking for that. So, oh, Peterborough. So he's, yeah, he's sort of that's south of me, isn't it? So it's probably coming up from the yeah. south. Yep. So it's probably dying right before it gets to you. So, but no, no we'll that uh, I've been looking forward to getting that. Um, I got all, I got all the, uh, the extra stuff that you, that you need for it to, or you don't need it, but it makes it not, it makes it more fun. The mouse pads for all the tracking. I love all this bling. I love it. And then it's just one gigantic, big, huge map. And so they give you, they give you these. Oh, well, those are sort of so you can block it off. Yep, yeah. So you can block it off. So there's like, so we've got, so that's the Royal Italian Army. And then we've got the Canadian Army. Yeah. 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 Yep. We got the New Zealand Army. Yeah. Uh... And then, dun, 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 the British Army. Yeah. So, although I've heard you can't really sing that uh, Britannia Rules Waves anymore. Well, we, we say up yours where the sun don't shine because people <laughs> misunderstand this song so yep. much. Oh, I bet. I've listened to it. It's it's it doesn't it doesn't surprise me that that if happened. it wasn't for the British um squadron uh that stopped all the slave ships um from doing it you know the hundreds of lives were lost in that squadron forget the name of it and that's what the song words mean britain never never there shall be slaves because we'll stop the swines yep yeah well that is what it is and people yep. are gonna find out what they want so with of that course, but... of course but so uh, this will probably be our last uh, episode with this game. We've we've had some fun with it. We're gonna mm. finish. We're gonna mm. we're gonna get into it. I think this time, uh, get some real good battles going here. So, but if I remember right, Ruff, you're up. So I act activated all my units because all my wing commanders are. Hey, I said that correctly. Uh, my wing Cavalry. commanders are all activated. And uh, so you're up, and you can decide what you want to do. Um, oh, blimey, I've forgotten what's going on. Right. <clears throat> well, you looks like everything's at make ready except for this unit over here, and that is in uh, – oh, I should probably uh, let the folks see what I'm pointing at too. <laughs> oh, yeah. So uh, here on the uh, – is that the right or left? Right flank, uh, there are receive yeah, charge. Right yeah. Uh, this charge is actually me, so we'll put that right there so we got that going. So now I've got this uh, this poor one here. I don't yep. think he's gonna last long. Yeah, no, but you know what? You this this unit right here has kept all these units here from getting engaged. Oops, yeah. oops, oops hold on, I, I hit a button. Hold on, let's what have there you we done? go. There we go. All these units here from getting in, getting getting involved with that one, which is not going to be a good a good thing like that. So, uh, Koi says, was it the West African Squadron? Yes, I believe it was. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so what you got, Ruff, and uh, how we're going here? So, Ruff, you're you're up. So you get to choose which one you're going to activate next here. So they're all under make ready. Now, I might want to move. Yeah, the thing is, if we move through those uh, hedges, we're going to. 
Yeah, you're going to end up getting a uh, uh, formation. Oh wait, no, not on musket, not on the musketeers. Oh, not on the musketeers because they're little one, they're small they're units. The aren't they? Yeah, they're the yeah, light they're... infantry, so they can yeah. actually go through that. But you are at make ready, so you can't get any closer. Uh, we because might make ready. You cannot be. You can't move there. adjacent. Yep. Uh, I think we might try and charge. I think. Oh, uh, a couple other things, Ralph. I forgot that formation shaken. So I had these two units that were formation shaken here. Yeah. They actually could only move half. You can only move half at a formation shaken. Yes. Half yes. movement point. So um, just next time I'll, I'll remember that. So, but I That's wanted to make note of that because somebody <clears throat> put that out. So I wanted to make sure we, we brought that up. No, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, right. So let's try and change orders. Oh, which which uh which Sorry, wing are you at? Activate the um the uh, left hand okay. <clears throat> wing. I'm gonna zoom in on that. By the way, I am I am uh, I've found a seven day free period of 1080, so we should be streaming at 1080 right now. So we'll Ooh. see. Yes, there was like try. Free for seven days, so I'm I'm gonna try it. Hey, it's free this for is seven what, days. on the old stream yard. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. it looks much clearer. Yes. Yeah. So the we'll thing see. Is it cost a bomb? Doesn't it cost a? Full yeah. It cost, yeah, I know that's my only problem, and yeah, and I just haven't been happy with anything else. The ease of use of stream yard just yeah, like, it's oh. so easy. Yeah, yep. I get you there. I mean, um, the uh, uh what do they call it? Uh, the one you used, tried to use last week. Yeah, stream yard. Yeah, stream. No, the uh, yeah. ops. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, blimey. What's it called? OBS. OBS, yeah. that's the one. Um, that That's 1080, but it's such fiddly. Yeah, there's fiddly a lot one. there. I mean, you can do a lot with it, but for what I want to do, it's like... <clears throat> I want to ask um, Stuka, because he uses a phone app, doesn't he, that gives us 1080, where he can mm -hmm. stop the thing, move it, start it again. Looks like he's melding into one. It's... Uh, I forget what oh, it was. Oh yeah, I, yeah. I don't know what he uses. I know he uses an iPhone. So oh, right. It might, that might work be some on. of it too. I don't know. I actually I know the program he uses because I've downloaded it. Uh, but how he does all his stuff, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, it's crazy. So, so yeah. I, I might interrogate him if he turns up tomorrow. Which, by yeah. the way, on the war room, we're talking about how you learn your rules for a new war game. I need all the help I can get. Yeah. <laughs> You get Tony or Blue or somebody else to teach you. Yeah, no, I know. It's great. It's great. I love you guys because yeah, I, I pretend I can't read one word or another, but, you know, I just, I'm just lazy. Anyway, no, I'm not. I'm joking. So we're coming out from Make Ready yep. to oh. Charge. So you're at Make Ready to Charge. It's a zero to five. Yeah. And I don't think it is a cav cavalry wing. Uh, changing the charge, so you get a minus one on that. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, but uh, I've got the wing leader. He's a zero, though. Oh, is it? Oh, bugger! Yes, he is. Yep, yep. He's a he's he's no good. Ramsey's no good, or he's average. I guess is the best way to describe. So it. we need now. Do you have to do them separately then? Uh, the cavalry, and then the no. That's this. It's the whole wing. It's the so whole. So they've got them in it. So it's a minus one, regardless. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we want a six or more. Here we go. Uh, or less zero to six. Sorry, six or less. Oh, yeah. Yep, that does it. So now you're you can go into charge. Which I think you just flip the make ready. Yep. Oh no, it's the other one. Let me see if I can pull it up for you here. Yeah, uh, there's only yeah. Doesn't cycle through. Uh, oh, yes, because yeah, you've done all yours, haven't you? Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Charge. Here we go. We'll just move this one to the side. There we go. Right. So charge, of course, means I can just come up towards you. Uh Let's see what we're going to do. Let's uh, to, mm -mm. 
Ah, you're heavy cavalry, though, aren't you? No, that's <laughs> uh, light cav. Or it's just cav. I don't think it's heavy cav. I think it's just cav. Oh, because they've got to be double units, haven't they? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, let's bring up... How much, how much can they move? Uh, let's see. The musketeers can move... Oh, it's on the other sheet here. Which one? Yes, which one is it on? Yeah. Oh, here we uh, are, yes. Light moves six, six and cav moves eight. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. I think, yeah, it's just cab. There's no light or heavy cab. It's just cab. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yes, yeah, there's light and heavy infantry. Up. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yep. So we'll go one, two, three, four. Five. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm morale broken. I don't think I can do much, but let me look real quick because I think I can reaction move. Because I kind of want to reaction move. I don't want you hitting my flank. Um, I'll go on. <laughs> uh, reaction fire. Uh, reaction move is what I'm looking for. Oh, right. Okay. Reaction. Here we go. Basic concept. Reaction movements. Um, in general, a unit may only react move each time it does limit to number of facing change. Well, let me check and see here. <laughs> morale broken. See if there's a limit on that one. Morale. Oh, yeah. That's probably where it'd be at. Yeah. 20. Yeah, right. So let's find it where it is. Uh, casualty threat. Um, morale broken. Um, morale broken units have no formation. Have a morale of one. Since morale broken units have no formation, they have no facing. And enemy units cannot get flank or rear ships. Oh, so it doesn't matter. Oh, because you're all over the place. Yeah, I yeah. didn't realize that. Okay. okay. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter then. So, yeah, there's no reason for me to... Um, uh, let's see. Um, I don't think I can even reaction fire. I don't think you can do anything, can you? What are no. your morale? What about your formation? Hey, my Mandarin Mike's in. Hiya, matey. But it's uh, formation's fine. I'm just morale broken. Got a bit of a squeaky chair. Apologies. Yeah, you got the squeaky chair going. Pew pew. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's uh, on its way out. I'm, I'm sort of looking very sad and dejected in front of the wife. <laughs> okay. Didn't she give you a new one a while back? She find well, not new one. She finds she finds bargains. And oh, some person was selling one. It only had it a couple of a month or so. Oh, okay. And That's uh, usually the way it works out. Nine point one point one a general restrictions. Morale broken may not react or intercept. Right. So Can I cannot react either way. What? Can you um, move out the way? Reaction move or not? No. Nope. I can't react at all. Oh, that's all right. So I can't react move or react fire. I can't do either. Morale okay. broken units cannot do either. So, okay, that's that. Now we have to move first, don't we? Do all the movement first? Yes, do all the movement first. So, we're going to come now into your car. Oh, so, forget it so easily. Moving into a zone of uh, control. Mm -hmm. How do we move out of that? Do we have to pay extra you, or something? No, nope, you can just move out. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, one, two, three. I mean, either way, you had enough to move around that anyway. Yeah. So, one, two, one, two, oh, that'd be one, two, three, four. It's like any way you wanted to look at that, you would be able to do it. So. Yeah, I just want to try and do it sort of correctly. Because, you know, you get some people watch this 12, you know, two and a half years later, they'll go, do you oh, 
after after first after two years, I I cancel comments because I can't remember what I did. I can't remember what I did last month, let alone two exactly. years, three years and ago. I, and I love them, and I get people asking me questions, you know, about uh, Atlantic Chase or about something, and I think oh, I can't. And there's no timestamp. Yeah, and I can't. Well, even sometimes, well, when they do a timestamp, I'm like, oh. And I'm like, do I really want to answer this question? Yeah, <laughs> I, I know. I do. I do. I do try. And then I sometimes I'm asking, just like, but yeah, I know what you mean. Especially if it's like a little while back, you think, crikey, movement. Yeah, I'm anyway. just going to check on that real quick. On what? Because um, I remember them saying um, something like there's no zones of control in this one. Uh Sounds of control. I don't remember even seeing a section on it. Yeah, I remember something. There's no movement cost for moving adjacent to an enemy unit. Units move directly into the frontal hexes. Um... And needs to change facing to move into a flank or to a rear. Leaders and cavalry use T. If a unit does not have enough movement points to enter hex, it may not do so. Uh, I don't think. I think the Zox are represented by reaction fire move. Oh yeah. So oh, right. Yes. Yeah, so, oh hold on. Yes. Hold on. Yeah. Let's let's move back because I have to get be Hold on. Let me just rewind. Yep. So this one. Move back one more. So you could react there. I could react fire or facing there. Um, and but that would be the pistol. That would be the pistol shot because those are um, cav, cav, and they're actually better. So yeah, I'm gonna do a reaction fire with the pistol. Okay. Okay. Uh, formation shaken, yes. Yeah, so I get a minus one because uh, I'm formation shaken. I'm not broken. I'm not advanced finder retreat. Yeah. I'm not either an arquebusier or a Croat. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Commanders, uh, commander and dragoons, uh, plus one. Nope. And defender. So yeah, it's just going to be uh, minus one. So I'm going to need. Yeah, that's a... cavalry down the bottom where it says plus. Oh one yeah. Strength. Uh, but I've only got three. I've only got two, so it's not a big deal. Oh, minus one then. Yeah, minus. So it'd be minus two. Oh, blind me. Yep. Oh well. Nah, that's it. Okay. So I fired. I still have one left. So. Thanks, Spare. Spare Rib was the one that brought that up. That thanks. He's been commenting great, giving us lots of stuff. So we love uh, that. Yeah, thanks, Farib. Okay, so I fired, so you could move if you wanted. I will. You can't fire anymore, can you? So no, but I can reaction move. <laughs> um, let, the other thing I wanted to check, though, if I fire, I think if you take a hit, you have to stop. Yeah, but since I missed. Um, no. See, the other thing I want to do is clear the way so my artillery here can have a oh, shot. Oh, yeah, there. you can get a shot with that. Because yeah. I can't I, move. I don't, I, uh, it doesn't say, interestingly enough, on reaction fire, if you have to stop. I think you do. I don't, oh. Yeah, oh, because you get shaken, don't you? Formation shaken. Yes, so you that would change it. Yeah, so if you get formation shaken, you would have to change. Yes. Yeah. Yep, so. Now, I could do facing change if I wanted to. Wow. I thought we'll let the cat out of the bag, but anyway, go on yeah. then. Oh, uh, I, could, I could intercept, but yeah, you're already like right up front. It's not like I can really intercept too much. That's okay, Spare Rib. I'm I'm pretty sure we're okay with this. Uh, 
Okay, go ahead, Ruff. You're oh, good. yes. What's this? Uh, yeah. The uh, intercept. I could intercept, but you're like real too close. You're too close. Because oh, you I have- see. Yes, you mean you, you mean with this one to intercept? Yes, uh, you're too close. You can't you you with that one. Hundred. You can't go through there, can you? No. Nope. Because so, didn't I try that first time we played this? Yes. Yep. Intercept or something. Yep. Yeah. Right. So that's that. So we're going to go. One, oh, hold on. That's that's what happens. Yeah, when you move adjacent, you can reaction fire, can't you? So one. Two, mm-hmm. three, four. You fired twice. So no, you can fire no, again. I fired you... once, but I'm going to yeah. save it for the close combat. Okay. Because uh, that'll give me a plus one. I haven't looked. What's Blooming Light Infantry against Cavalry like? <laughs> uh, pl- light Infantry is the attacker. Uh, I don't think you can actually go against... Uh, those are crusty. Yeah, you can't actually attack. You can oh. shoot, but you can't attack. Yeah, you can't close combat. Ah, light infantry can only go against uh, the Croat Cav and the light infantry and other light infantry. So this one's okay. Yeah, this one. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do with this one then. Uh, this one, we'll, we'll fire. Okay. Um, you Because you can move and fire, correct? On... Yes. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because it's I have to be I have to be adjacent to fire, don't I? So. Yep. No, what it is is you move adjacent, and then your next activation you can actually do that you can't you can't move and fire you can move oh, I see what you mean it's part of, it is it's not close combat but it's it's the fire what's, yep. what's it called um all the, the, the perform actions uh it's fire cow okay. cab is the only one that can move in fire you would be normal right. infantry fire ah right okay so but now you're adjacent to that Oh yeah, ones. cavalry fire. Yes. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Oh, get off. Right. Um. So when do I do my pistol fire? Well, you can't do pistol fire with these because I've moved. Well, they're musketeers. They're not pistol fire is only for cav. But I can't close. Right. I can't. I can't use muskets against the cav. You can use that firing, but not until your next activation. Because I've moved. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Well, I'll move them up because uh, I just uh, so they're a bit of a pain, then, aren't they? One, two, three. Firing. Yeah. No. That's infant light infantry have the anti-suicide rule. That's what it is. I remember hearing about that's that. That's against heavy cavalry, though, isn't it? It's uh, heavy infantry. Any, it's it's against anything that's not light cav. Or that's not light infantry or a light cav, whatever, however you want to. So, do. what's the point of these then if I can't attack anything? Well, you can fire though, and that causes problems. All right. So, like now, I could take this one and fire at this one, which I will do for one pistol hit. So, now oh, I no, get. Yeah, light infantry, when they move against heavy infantry, can use the anti suicide clause. Right. Yep. Yeah. Uh you sh- you shoot things with them rough and then you also block heavy units. Uh you can't attack but you can defend. Okay, yep. Right. So I can do close combat against you if I wanted okay. to. But so I'm going to take uh this guy. He is going to fire at this one. Rotty hose. Um it is going to be plus 2. Because I have a Firepower of five on this one, and it's plus plus. one for each SP greater than three. So that's four and five. So it'd be plus two. Yes. It's not blocks of three, it's past three. Yeah, Yeah. past three. Each one past three. Yep. Right. Plus two. Five plus two is a seven, which is a hit. So he's gone because he only has 
one strength point. Oh, flip. But you used up a pistol shot of mine. Yeah, yeah. So, so blop. So, uh, now cavalry against cav, is that a good idea? Yeah, uh, that's a zero. Because it's a Carassier versus a Carassier, so that's a right. zero. Oh, I see. It's a bit like GBOH. Right, yep. okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so, one, two, whoops, two, three, four, uh, Four. You firing? Uh yeah, why not? Again, I it's the same thing. I get a plus no, but this will be it for that pistols. Um, which is fine. So it'll be again plus two. No. Nine plus two. Yep, he's gone too. Hey? Oh, because it's high, it, it's the higher numbers, yep. isn't it? Higher in this case, yeah. It's because it's uh I would have needed I need a seven, eight, or nine to cause one hit. And with a plus two, I need a uh five, six, seven, eight, or nine <laughs> to get a hit. So okay, so now you're getting into some cav here, which can do close combat. Yeah. One, two, three. Four. Five. Oh, do I want to try? Oh, yeah. Oh. Do you want to try? Well, you've got no... Well, this one has. Yes, yes, yes. Nah, hold off on that one. Now, moving backwards. Counter-marching. Do we have to turn all the way around, or do we just... I don't think so. I think I they just it. peel off from the front, don't they? What happens in real life? I think I remember reading. Uh, it's only because I want to just. Oh yeah, rough. Remember the cab. Um, let me double check on that. What's that? What have uh, I done now? Well, the cab I think becomes formation shaken. Yes, when you went over uh, these right here, gets formation shaken. Oh, because it's cab. Yeah, they're not oh, in open order. They're not in open order. In order. Yeah. Only the light infantry, right? So yes, yeah, it's only the light infantry that is basically yeah, yeah, allowed yeah. to do whatever. Uh, formation shaken. So if you want to go back, you can. That's up to you. Uh, and yeah, let's do it. Sorry, yeah, let's do that just to be a pain. I can't. Hold on. So I'll I'll move him here. In where was he? I think he was like right. He was right here. Okay, so we'll move him here then. Sorry. Is that all right? Yes. No, that's fine. That's fine. Yep. Yep. And then we'll move this one. Oh, rough. He says um, these two are actually dead because they moved up next to the cab. You can't move them next to the cab. A one. A one. Let's see. Here it is. Um. Let's see where. Uh, yes, there it is. Any unit that's right next to a one-step light infantry that isn't. Oh, well, I would have. Yeah. Do you think I would have done that if I knew that? No, I think I think you would have tried to figure out how to get this guy up here. And I don't know what you would have done with that guy. I would have probably just waited for you to come to me. Yep. But you needed to get him cleared out so you could get your cab up because. So, so both of these are dead. Yep. But it doesn't hurt if you get what I'm saying because they don't count as victory points or anything like that. All right. Let's, let's do that. It was my own fault. But like I said, does, those don't count for victory points or anything like that. Like we're going right. we're not going to make that far. So, but we're helping everybody else learn. That's the whole idea. Yeah. My, yeah. My benefit. Thank you. 
Oh, sh- no, I'm only joking. So if I come across this hedge, that's going to be um, formation shaking, isn't it? Yes. If this goes across one, because it's we've got here. We've one got, formation uh, hit per. Yep. Yep. But this one is gets formation hit because it's crossed this. Yes. Yes. Yep. It would take a formation shaking. Yep. Mm-hmm. You firing? Uh yes, I'm gonna fire on I'm gonna take this one and fire on this one. Okay. Uh pistols and it is a five, so I get a plus two. Oh. Eight plus two, so yes, you do oh, take okay. it. Gold sake. So what's that? That's a hit, of course. Yep. So how do we do that? Just uh, uh right click and you can put do a plus one hit. Oh yeah, there we go. Nope, not that one. This oh, one. there we go. And I right. think you do have to, if you take a hit, you have to do a morale check. That sounds about right, actually. Mm -hmm. So that's a six, yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's a six. Um, okay. and I don't think you're not at. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're not at threshold. Well, they're only. Oh, this is a um, three strength a three, unit. Four, yeah, and it's a six. So yes, it is at. Um, so you have to add a plus one. The plus, yeah, you have to add a plus one. Ah, oh, uh, Nordic said you can stack. I keep thinking you can't stack in this oh. game, but you can. Oh, I think infantry is the only thing you can stack. Yeah. Oh well, never, never mind. Next time, Nordic. Next yep. time. And there will be a next time. Oh, yes. So uh, six, but it's got to be less, isn't it? So it's going to – is that right or more? Um, uh, less then because you're I've getting a, a plus one because you're getting a plus one for the other one. So you need a five or less. Right. Oh, Each. Geez, so your morale I've broken. Or morale broken. Yeah, it's whatever the morale – next uh, morale state is. I think it's, yeah, where are we? Um, morale shaken. Momentum, pistols, morale. Morale shaken. There we go. Well, that was effective. That, that helped. <sighs> Russia. All right. So. Oh, hold on. Oh, wait, um, you, still got, you still got these guys yeah, here. Yeah, now, because of the wing commanders there. Yeah. Can he, because I've got a formation shaken one under there, can he automatically rally him? Uh, yes, he can. Uh, reform with the leader. Yep. But he's gonna he's gonna come. Uh, that's as far as that's all he can do is just. That's reform. all he can do. So we'll. Yep. Uh, formation. So, what you may want to do, Roth, just saying, and Go this on. will be something I can understand. You may want to move him up here, and then and next, then do it, and then next activation, you can reform one level, and then. You know, if you get a third activation, you can reform them all the way. It's okay. up to you. Or no, I get what you're saying. Or you can just leave him here, get him formation shaken, and keep him as backup in reserve. Well, that's what I was going to do, and then move him. He needs to move. He's only going to get formation shaken. So, oh wait, you're under charge. Oh, you're under charge. So no, you cannot do that. Oh, we only can't do the, it. Only the army commander can do that. Oh, not, geez. not the wing commander. So Essex. Essex be, over there, yeah. Yep. Yeah, he's the only in one the that middle. can do that. He's the only one that can do that. If it was make ready, uh the uh wing commander could do that. Thanks, Spar thanks, Spare Web. I, yeah, I, I, mean, it's great. I forgot it was the wing commander. We're still learning this game, as you know. Yeah. And uh, there's there's a I try and I read the rules, but it's been so busy videoing other things. So yes, uh, yeah, Nordic, yep. Uh, the only the overall commander can reform a units under charge. It can do whatever it wants. It's, yeah. it's the army yeah. leader, so. Yep. Okay. So yeah, thank you. Yep. So you, you might just want to leave him back there under reserve. <laughs> and he's still shaken. Uh, yep. Formation, formation shaken. Formation shaken. Yep. Uh, there we go. So yeah. Okay. I'll keep so him. you've activated every. Well, you haven't activated your guns, but they can't get anywhere. They can't. Uh, your unit. Your unit blocks them. 
that well i well it's in the grazing isn't it so yeah but if i'm attacking if i'm going for this one so i wanted to go right yeah. up there no i could one two three four five six seven oh yeah i guess you could you could get like where king charles is actually yeah but it would would affect it would probably affect that one as well wouldn't it um no because no, i no. depend no I, I decide which side of the the hex side yeah. I'm going mm -hmm. and honestly if you did this one, this unit, even that hex is not gonna interfere with this one because it's gonna kind of go out. Yeah, it's go, it's going. Yeah, it's going along there. Yeah, because yeah. you pick a way of yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, what the heck! Let's give it a go. Uh, hold on. Where are we? We want artillery fire. What is it? It's only a... Oh, what was it's it? It's a, a three-pounder. Was it a three-pounder? Yeah. Oh, crikey. Yeah, it's a three-pounder. At seven is a minus two. So you need to roll a nine or a ten. Well, it's worth a go, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, might Can't as well. do anything. Yep. Uh, where are we? Nine or ten. And... Six, nope. no. That's me done. Yep. Okay, now you can, of course, you can roll for um, continuation. Hold on, isn't it close combat? Oh, yeah, close combat. That's right, close combat. Yeah. Oh, good, right. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to declare your attackers. It's not going to matter too much, but you need to declare who's going to attack whom. Right. Well, this one obviously is going to attack that one. Okay. Uh, what do we want to do? We'll have these two attack those. Sorry, these two attack that one. Okay. And these two attack that one. Uh, they all moved. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, they did move. You get. You have to do momentum. Oh, because they moved more than two. But remember, that's only you can choose. Um, oh, it's yeah. If you move more than one hex, most of these guys move more than one because of the yeah, way you have to yep, yep, yep. Um, but you can choose in the combat, the close combat, to do that if you want to. But if it if you get a cavalry pursuit, you have to use it. So you you can take the advantage of momentum. Oh wait, but... cavalry. What? If uh, let's see here, yeah, let's see. Where's that at? Uh, cavalry momentum eleven point three point six. I want to see if it's voluntarily, if you can use it or if you can't. Um, oh, eleven point three point six. Just want to make sure we get this right. Oh, that's the wrong book. No, that's fine. Eleven point three point six. I love the case because it helps. Um, uh, momentum. If uh, attacking heavy infantry or cavalry unit moves two hexes through or across clear contain or ho um uh, slope hex sides into combat, does not change facing fire. Oh, all, all your guys facing. change facing. Yeah, so, yeah. Yep. So you <clears throat> won't, you won't get. Yeah, and they did go through the hedges too. So yes, but you changed facing. So you don't, yeah. you don't. So you don't even get momentum either way. So yep. Oh, Right. Let's do this one first, then, shall we? Okay. Well, the thing is, okay, hold on. Yeah, we'll do that one. But you were attacking this one and this one? Yeah. Okay. I will get to choose to attack first with this unit because you did not attack it. Ah. So I can attack one of these two units because you chose this this target for these two and this target for these two yeah yeah that's the that's where i got confused with the whole the, that whole one thing <laughs> okay so you've designated all of them the inactive player may designate any inactive unit not already designed as a designated as a defender to attack and then reaction close so i am going to do that 
I'm going to take this one and I'm going to attack that one. Right. Okay. So now we go through here. So I am the attacker. Let's see here. Uh, I don't have a defender or attacking leader. No. Uh, I have a plus two morale differential because I have an eight. You have a six. Okay. Uh, strength. Uh, I don't have two to one. You have three. I have five. So that doesn't. That doesn't that doesn't affect. It's no one on the halves, is there? No, nope. it's either two to one or one to two. So okay. you you have to have it all the way. You round down. Close combat matrix. That's a zero because they're both the same units. Yeah. Uh now you can uh expend. So right now we're at a plus two. You can expend a pistol shot. Um. Yeah, minus one to get a minus one. I think I'll do that. Which one are you attacking? Uh Waller. Okay, so now I'm at a plus one. Plus one. I cannot uh, expend this pistol shot either because <laughs> I used them all up. Yeah. And so that's it. So formation, attacker, uh, none of that. Defender, none of that. So I get a plus one. Yep. Okay, plus one on the close combat table. Here we go. Oh, no. Two. Yes. Plus one yes. three. Attacker is morale shaken. <laughs> Oh, uh, no. broken. Um. Uh, oh, three. You're three, right. Yep. So plus one. Yep. Morale shaken. Retreat two hexes. Are you, can you? I did get. Yeah, I got the morale differential, which is only plus two. Uh, spare rib, spare rib. Yep, we got uh, that. So yeah. He expended a shot of a minus one. Knocking so that's back down only, again. Uh, yep. So that only is a plus one. Okay, so now retreat. I cannot retreat. I left myself open. This was a problem. Uh, units may not retreat into or through a friendly unit except during a retreat. A unit may retreat into or through a artillery. That's not a problem. A light infantry or cavalry stack will retreat together. Uh, let's see. Units unable to retreat. Uh, if a unit is morale broken and cannot retreat, it, re it is fully required distance due to stacking restrictions. It must use the unable to retreat. Um, a stand result. A stand result return returns the unit to morale shake. Uh, that's it. If oh, uh, unable to retreat table. Well, hold on. If the unit is morale shaken, which I am, yeah. at the start of the retreat, which it is, and cannot retreat, it suffers a casualty point for each hex it's not able to retreat. So I lose two points. So I take two hits. Okay, that was not the way that was supposed to go there, Ruff. That's quite good. <laughs> so that unable to retreat table is only when your morale broken, yeah? That is correct, yes. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we'll do this one. Get this one out up here, out of the way. Yep. So we are no leaders. Morale differential is oh, that's going to be a. I'm the attacker now, so that is a minus two. Is that right? Uh, let's see. My mor well, here's the difference. My morale is a one. Oh, because your morale broken. Right, yes. So that is a plus three. Yep. Oh, strength ratio. Uh, your... One to one, nothing there. Okay. Close combat, zero, because it's the same unit. Both. Yeah. No, 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 no cavalry. No, no, no formation broken, minus two. Oh, oh no, not formation attacker. broken. No, that's um, attacker, that's me. Yep. Plus two for formation broken. I'm not formation broken. I'm morale broken. Morale broken. Right. So it's yep. still, uh, what do we say? Plus three? Yes. Plus three. Plus three. Right. Here we go. Come on. S uh, seven. Oh, uh, that's, he's gone. Yeah. You're morale broken already. Yeah. Yep. I have to retreat two hex. Well, okay. 
technically, uh, if it's oh yeah, if it's already morale broken, you're already it. morale yep. broken. You yep. can't go down anymore. Yep. So I think yep. that, if I remember He's rightly, then to the eliminated unit. units. Um, so spare rib said I should have gone after the FS cab, which is this one, Sandy's. Yeah. Uh, my issue with that is I wouldn't have done any better. <laughs> it would have. It still would have been. I would have lost, taken one less hit. <laughs> so, so yes. So rough. You do have to move into that hex. And I got to check for pursuit. Uh cavalry. You're not. That's not cavalry. Oh, no, not cavalry. No, they they do run very fast on their little legs, but no. No, no they're not that fast. Yes. Can I change facing? Uh, yes, you can go into that hex with whatever, whatever facing you want. This one, just in case, yeah. Right, these two against this one, yeah? Yes, that is correct. So we add up the two lots together, combine yes, them. add up, yep. So. The you do need to label your lead unit. Yes. So, well, it doesn't really matter because they're both. They're the both same. the same. Yeah. That's yeah. So. We'll we'll call it um, Uri, the one on the left. This could be funny because we're going to have some plus and minuses going through. Yeah. So, we've got morale differential. I've got twelve. No, you don't add that. Ah. You pick one. You add the strength, but you pick one for the morale. Oh, they're both the same. So six to eight. That's a minus two. Yep. Strength ratio is eight. So that's and mine two. is two, so that's four to one. So that minus two just went away. Because four to one is plus two. Coast uh close combat thingy is the same as zero. Yep. Uh we're going Defender, to I am yep, and I'm gonna throw my final pistol shot at you. Can I do both? Yes, you can do one each. So that make that cancels that out, and I get a plus one. Yes. Yep. Yep. That's it. Plus one. Yeah. Well, hold on. What? Go on. Uh, attacker has is or has formation shaken. You got to go down to the next part down there. Oh yes. So that's zero then. Um. But defender is formation shaken, which I am. <laughs> so that's a plus so, one. So plus one. So you get a plus one out of this. Right. Blimey. Yes. Oh no. no. Defender eliminated. Woo. That's not good. Okay. And I must advance. Yeah? Yep. Uh let's see what it says. Attacker must advance into the vacated hex and check for cavalry pursuit. So you choose one unit. Well, isn't it the lead unit that advances? Yes, it's the lead unit, whichever one you... So it's that one. Okay. Now you need to check for pursuit. Cavalry pursuit table. We are this accursed civil war. Yep. Pursuing cavalry is under charge order, which I am. So it's plus one. Plus one. Didn't use momentum, though. Uh, you weren't unformed. Uh, I'm not, unfo not unformed, am I? Nope, it's just a plus one, it looks like. Yeah, plus one. Okay. Oh, God. No. Well, you go off map, and you would eliminate the unit, but it's already eliminated. So, yeah. but <laughs> so, this... so you you send them to the pursuit box. Uh, where are we? Oh, here we go. Right. That was fun. Ah, good fun. Okay, so now you got these... Those two versus that one. So we have Waller and Ramsey. Ramsey? Uh, I think so. It looks like it, yeah. They're yep. both the same again. So we'll have Ramsey this time as the lead. Dubry. Okay. We're going to both fire pistols. Okay. And I'm going to fire my last one. Uh, pistol and pistol. So that... That's a plus one for that because okay. Got... Well, let's start from the top. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Morale is a minus two for you because I have an eight. You have yeah. six. Right. Uh, strength is not four to one though because you have 
12. No, you have three and two. Oh, God, I'm looking at the morale, aren't I? So that's, oh, that's five. Five to five. So there's one nothing. To one that says nothing. Yep. Nothing on the close combat matrix. Nope. We've done the pistol shot, so that's a plus one overall for me. Yep. And down the bottom. I don't have anything. I don't see anything. I've got formation shaken. No, you don't. Oh, that's morale shaken. Yeah, the two things confuse me. Well, so, yeah. Yep. Well, oh, so here's go. You don't want to use this one as your lead. You want to use this one as your Yeah, lead. I've just realized because he's yep. um, got lost a, a, a point, isn't he? Yep. Yep. Because of the uh, because of the morale shaken. Yep. Yeah. So this is Waller's your lead unit. Yeah, Waller's your leader. Sorry. Yeah. Thank you for so that. So it ends up being a plus one. Plus one. Come on, nice and high, boys. Oh, plus two. two. <laughs> so you got a two. Morale broken. So both of them are broken. Not just the lead unit. Mm, uh, no, because I think it's nope. both of them. Attacker morale broken. Attacker retreats two hexes. That's both units. Yep. And you may advance. And I would check for cavalry pursuit. And because I've gone over the um, hedge again. It, that doesn't matter. Retreat does. Right. Doesn't Retreat. Matter. I, yes, I think you remember that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, but remember, everything's for my formation shaken that does, um, that's involved attack. in. Well, the attack was formation shaken, isn't it? Yep. Mm -hmm. It's combat. Yep. Combat, everybody gets formation shaken because that's what happens in combat. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. I just got I just remembered that spare rib. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we all, so yeah, now I can my... pursue. I am going to I am going to advance with Rupert here. And we are going to do cavalry pursuit. Um, I'm not under charge order. Not momentum. Yep. So nope. So it's just a straight roll to find out what happens. I get a five, a five. Pursue and eliminate. Mark pursuer as formation broken. Broken. Oh, so you stay on the map, but you're yep. broken. Yeah, right. So I pursue, and you are going to get rid of that guy. And now I become formation broken. Sweet. <laughs> You got you lot you got I got you got rid of one of mine, I got rid of one of yours. Oh dear, that's not the way it works. Okay, right Let's see here. We've got a lot of units here in the first <laughs> I've got a lot of eliminated units. Yep. But that's oh, how it was. Them, most of them are musketeers, so I'm not yeah, that's gonna... how it was though, I think. And those don't matter. <laughs> so we've each lost a um a different one, so Blimey. Oh no, you're right. Well, the only the only thing is 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 that he's already fired that shot, and so I can probably move before you get you're able to do that. So <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Formation broken in front of the cannons is a rather poor place to be formation broken. <laughs> Not gonna disagree, but you've already fired that one, so we're okay. I would have hey. thought that it, I would have thought it might be better because you split yourselves up, haven't you? <laughs> So it's hard of a hit. Jester's in the house. Can't we all just get along? Jester says. No, this um, is war. Yeah. Nordic says he can, but he needs a bribe. So he's still after that narc Paris, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I'm betting Jester's got a game he could bribe you with. <laughs> okay. So now, okay, here we go. So that is uh, it for close combat. Uh, continuation. So you can now you can try to continue again. But my my artillery doesn't come back until next turn, does it? That is correct. You only get it one turn, not per activation. Um, okay. Uh, so you're in charge. So you would have um, you would be a zero three. Um, and it's cavalry wing, so you'd get a minus one out of that. 
Yeah, let's try. No. So uh, Ramsey is finished. So it's go ahead finished. and flip Ramsey over. Uh, hold on. Got to get the right one. Finished. There we go. Okay. All right. Okay. So what are you going to try to activate next? What's this? Is this fields here? Yes, but it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. Okay. Yep. Uh, Jester, I wasn't driving when I was listening in the car. Let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> so are you going to activate that nice big center line and see what you can do with it? Or Yeah, let's activate... Um... Balfour's center wing. Uh, what have we got here? Mm, again, are only three pounders. These are useless. Uh, no, you got you've got like a nice twenty-four pounder here, and and that's it. They don't belong to wings, do they? No, they would belong to the center wing. If you look, it's only it's not. How do I want to say this? It's not listed here on the card, but if you looked at the battle, it's listed under that, so. Okay. Nordic says those fields are just for your viewing pleasure, Ruff. Oh, okie dokie, right. Well, we better, we better activate Balfour's center wing because it's quite big. Um, I just want to know how, we, how this one stuck right out the back here. Look, get over there with the others. Yeah, um, yeah. He's he's trying to get into the center because he's 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 seeing all the craziness that's going yeah. on over here. <laughs> and there's one here that's sort of lagging behind. Come on. So uh yeah, we'll try and um we'll activate that one. Make ready now. Make ready. Do we need to keep them in make ready? The only thing with make ready is you just can't move adjacent. Hmm. Okay, we'll keep the we'll keep the order as is. Or do I? Oh. I'll charge. See, how does Cav go against um... heavy artillery? You get that anti suit well, yeah. yeah. So Cavassier. Versus heavy infantry is a minus one. But what I find interesting is, is uh, right here, these are heavy infantry too as well. Yeah, where are we? Where's that? Anti-suicide. A light infantry, unformed cavalry wagon. Oh, it's only unformed cavalry. Uh, it's never required to move adjacent. Yep, I'll tell you what. Let's. Uh... Oh, what we got here? Yeah, let's go for charge. Okay, so changing order to charge. Oh, from make ready. It's zero to five. Um, you do have your army commander, and he's a minus one, so he yep. will help you. So... And uh, oh, and Belfour's a minus one as well. That's a minus two from make ready. Yep. So that's a seven or less, yeah? Yep, that is correct. You're going to roll a nine. Yeah. No! Oh. <laughs> it didn't even matter. Did not matter. Already, at they're chomping at the bit. Yep. We Did need not a new, matter at all. We need a new order. Yep. Um, let's Where do you find it? I haven't really zipped in here. Go. Oh well, I'll just pull up the pieces here. Give me a second. I'll have it here in a second. Here, boy, I think this is going against um the way it's supposed to. Wasn't yeah. I supposed to run away with this? Well, and it still might. Here we go. Charge. No, there you, you go. actually you actually lost. You could have won, but you lost, and um, could have you could have ended the war with this battle. 
Uh, you probably will. You're going to change history. <laughs> Jester's agreeing. Charge. Go get them. Yeah, I'm going to go and get them. So yep. what we'll do is... Okay, so heavy cat, heavy infantry, which you do have heavy infantry. They're just single single units here. Yeah. Uh, heavy infantry is four movement points? Um, I think so, yeah. Yeah, four. And I think you can just get up to some of the other, to my heavy cat. Or my heavy uh, infantry. Yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, let's bring these up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That gentle slopes don't do anything, do they? Nope. One. Oh, whoa. Hey, whoa. Wait a second. What? I am going to react fire. Oh, because yeah. oh, you got reaction. Okay, let's move all back. Let's move them all back. What about these? What about this one? Um, I'll leave. Oh, I can do it here. We'll just do it right now. We'll just do these two right now. All right. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we do. Yep. So you're okay. going to reaction fire one of these, yeah. are you? Well, yeah, I can reaction fire to both, actually. Oh, because... Well, no, do it... You, yes, because I'd move up with this one. Yep. I'd move up with this one, and this half would fire, yeah? Yep. Mm -hmm. And then move up with that one, and this half would fire, right. Yep, exactly. And if I remember right... So I'm going to take Oz, Ostley. I'm going to move him to yeah, the side. Yeah, get him out of the way, because I can't see what's going on. Get out of it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Stupid leaders getting in the yeah, way. Yeah, you know, they just do nothing. They just stand there looking pretty. Come on. Yep. Okay, so... Wow, I'm going to salvo fire. So that means... Uh, yep, salvo. Heavy, I can salvo fire. Um, Let's see here. Have you got built-in... No, oh. I do not have built-in artillery. No. Nope. What are you firing with? Don't I... Salvo fire. i got to look up salvo fire again. Hold on. Oh, you mean from the infantry salvo fire? Right? Yes, yeah, from the infantry. Yeah, yep. Right. yep. Reaction salvo fire. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So this one right here, going after this one. So how does that uh, work? Let's see. Oh, heavy infantry only. Yes. Fire yep. has formation shaken. Yes, I do. Oh, I've got a. Have I got a move? No, I didn't get. It's only when I attack, isn't it? Yep. So I get so a minus got... two. You've got a mark um, side with the salvo fired, I think. Yep. Let me uh I'm gonna pull this up here. Where's that salvo? Here we go. Salvo. So I get a minus one with that one. Uh minus one for every casualty point. Nope. I've got to make targets a salvo fire, must make a morale check. Oh, don't forget the morale check from the Salvo fire in addition to any other morale checks. Yeah, we yeah. add a plus one or whatever if we get it. So, yeah, it's separate and distinct from normal fire. Yep. yep. So I've got heavy infantry and the salvory, salvo, not the regimental, or, or not with the regimental artillery, just the regular salvo fire under hit. Um, so, so we figured out I have a minus or, um, hold on. Where are we? Where are we? This is, uh, fire, fire, fire. Yep. Heavy infantry musketry tables. Gotcha. So I'm going to have a minus three, it looks like. Because of the salvo. Because of the. Oh, I'm not marked with the salvo yet. That's what it is. I'm not oh. marked with it yet. So that doesn't count yet. Oh, you're not doing salvo reaction fire then? I am doing salvo, but the, that happens. Uh, uh, 10.4. Hold on. Let's look it up real quick here. Uh, the unit may use civil fire once per turn and only into frontal hexes. The unit is marked civil fire as a reminder. Um, if the unit fires again in the same turn, its fire unit gets the minus one. So the minus yeah. one, so it's no, just the minus two. Yeah, so your salvo fire gets marked now. If you fire again during yeah. close combat, you get a minus yep. one. Yep. Or going forward at all. So it's... So. Uh, 
Oh, I'll get reaction fire. You don't get no, because you because oh, this is this this is reaction fire. You don't oh, get the reaction my reaction. No targets of salvo fire. Oh, must make a morale check. Yes, yes, yes. Gotcha. Salvo fire by an active unit triggers reaction fire. Okay. But I'm I'm the active unit, aren't I? Yes. I'm not salvo firing at you. So, but you're just doing. I'm salvo, salvo firing at you. Yes, I'm just yeah. doing reaction fire. Yep, okay. reaction salvo because it's reaction fire. Yep. So you don't get to react to my reaction. <laughs> no. So you pop that that salvo on that half yep. to say that you've used salvo fire. So when you fire again with that it's half, it's minus you, one. Yeah, minus one. Gotcha. Yep. So it's Come minus. Again. So minus two on the salvo column. Here we go. Nine. Minus is two is a seven. Is a two hits. Oh, for flip. Oh, for flip's sake. So take two hits on Brooke. <sighs> okay, and then you have to do a morale check. Oh yes. And, and you get a plus one because of the salvo fire. So you're plus one to your morale check. So I need a is it less? Yes, less. So you need a five or less. Oh, for crying out loud. So that is a morale shaken. Oh, I hate these dice. Well, that didn't work out well. Nope. So now I can still fire on this guy as a reaction fire, but I can't I can't use the salvo anymore. So can you not? No, because it's a one time once per turn. It's just normal fire. Front. Frontal normal fire. Well, only one half can use it then. Is that what you're saying? Uh, I think it's, it doesn't matter. I think once you use it, you use it. Whether it's oh, a if half, only or half not. Yes, if only half of a 2x unit salvo fires, mark the whole unit as having salvo fired. Yep. Right. Yes. So, in this case, it's a normal fire into this guy right here. With a minus uh, one, it, it'll be it'll actually be a minus two, so it'll be a oh. minus three on the normal. Oh, so it's because it's minus two for, for for formation broken or formation shaken, sorry, and then it's a minus one for being set for having salvo, right. right? So it's a minus three. Here we go, zero. That's nothing. Oh, good, <laughs> that's not a oh. 10. <laughs> okay, yes, good. so now we're going to take this one. And reaction fire on this one. Are you salvoing yes. that one? Of course I am. Oh, okay. It's not very nice. And this one's not formation broken. So it is a straight roll <laughs> on the salvo. I've got a feeling I should have just stayed where I was and waited for you to come to me. <laughs> Here we go. Straight roll. Eight. Oh, flip psych. Another two. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, it's two. Heavy infantry. Yeah, it's just yeah. two hits. Bloody and hell. you are actually, <laughs> this is going to get worse. So you have to do morale check. Morale check. So that's six, but it's a plus one because of the salvo. And then it's plus one because you're on the casualty threshold for that one. So plus two. So I so need plus, to throw. Yeah. God, need so you need four. a four or less, yes. Oh, I get a seven. Ah, <laughs> uh, so that's uh, morale shaking again. Okay, it is your turn now. So I don't think I want to play anymore, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> You've gone quiet. I mean, I mean, oh I mean, no, I'm just reading. Uh, yeah, yeah, active yeah, units yeah, don't get yeah. Yeah, yeah I think I've got my head around it. Uh, the only thing I, I don't. It, I have a questions about this game is there's clarity of the rules. You have to read it three or four times to understand what's um, what they what the, what they're saying. But that's, well, that's just why we got spare, that's why we got spare rib on here. Yeah, and that's what I love about this. You got Nordic, got spare rib, got all the boys and girls in the chat helping us to sad sacks along <laughs> with the rules. So that's movement done and reaction fire. Let's uh, 
that's center isn't it yes let's let's try and bring some more heavy artillery up one what we got here uh, oh. it, it, uh read the comment from nordic by the way that i have posted up there this is when you <laughs> said you should have stayed back yeah i, I think i should have yeah <laughs> He took advice from Jester and then he left. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing all the way. Yeah. Uh, yep. I should yep. have done. I mean, it's a bit late now. I've committed. So well, uh, we and, well we know this is our last our last. Yeah, and I'm yeah. it's it's the old uh, what do you call it thing that uh, I love. Oh doing. yeah, Leroy. You just Leroy Jenkins. Your I, center, your center, Leroy your Jenkins center wing. Yeah. Yep. You just yeah. You just uh, Leroy Jenkins. Your center. One, two. Uh, he's from, uh, ooh. Are you going to reaction fire? I can't because he's, that's from behind. I can't do that. Oh, yes. I just seen, yes. Oh, we don't. Oh, I'm attacking from behind. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> behave just Grow up, Tony. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Anyways, okay. Two. Can your, um, no, you've these got no guys. And reaction no piece, yes. no uh, let me let me double check the reaction part real quick. Um, I just want to see because uh, I know morale broken is a problem. Uh, oh, I don't think you do anything. Uh, no, well, the, uh, I'm morale shaken, not morale broken. Which one? This one. Sorry, uh, very small. This one right here. Yeah, he's morale shaken. I was looking at the uh, formation broken part. Uh, but it looks like I can actually um, move clockwise. There we go. Are you all oh, right? You can't do anything else, can you? No, nope. that was a, yeah. I could either fire or move, and I'm just going to move. Oh. So Although that's not looking good. Two. So I can't do anything there. I have no pistols either. If you notice. Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> Well, I did it. <laughs> uh, two and six, two and eight. One, two, three. You reacting with this one? Um. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although this is not going to be good. You can fire flank, can't you? With them. Um... I could, but I'm not. No, you can't. We can't fire now. Nope, I'm just moving. You reacting? I already did. I react moved. Don't, don't you get a chance to react every time? Oh, uh, I'm morale broken. So I. Oh wait, I can't even do that with this. Oh no, yes, you can't. You just, you're just like, you're yep. wandering around dribbling. That's what you're yep. doing. Yep. Come on, Ralph. Put somebody right here again. I'm going to. I'm working my way along. Just see what we got. Ooh, why have I got two units there? I've got two units on. No, that's what's going on here. No, I don't know. Somehow I got mixed up. Just move one to the side or whatever, or back or something like that. I'll move, I'll move one there. Look, there we are. Um, so we'll move. Hmm. What we got? We oh, flipping out. Come on, show me. Six, six, five, six. One or they can uh heavy one, two, three, four. Reaction fire. Go on then. Uh, it'll be a minus one, is it on the normal, not the salvo. It'll be a minus one on yeah, the normal. You use your salvo. Yep. Oh, that's nothing. You got lucky on that. Yeah. One, two, three. That's center on. They've moved. They've moved. One, two. Let's just move these up. Th three, not too far. One, two, three. And we got. Ooh. One, that's. What's that? That's uh, 
cavalry, isn't it? Yeah, One, that's cav. Yep. Two, three, four, five. Are you firing? From what? This guy, this guy's morale. Oh, off the side. Uh, you need to move back here. Fine. Now I'm, now I'm gonna fire. Why can't I move to this? Oh, I see, because I went past that went past that uh, hex. No, yeah. I can I can stop you right here. If I get you, if you take a hit, you stop right there. Yeah. So that's why. Um. Okay, so it'll be just the minus one again. Five minus one is four. a four. So you do take a hit on that one. And I have to stop there and a morale check. A morale check, yep. And that'll be a plus one because... Oh, nope. Nope, no casualty threshold uh, on... Uh, that's an eight, so no casualty threshold. Right. So, also, do I become formation thingy now? Uh, it Ooh, because it's le it's so you're like half, right? Yeah. I think so. Formation check. I know you got to do a morale check, so do a morale check first. I'll do that. So it's uh, and just as is, is it? Uh, yes. Yep. Just Eight. as is. Yep. Yeah, zero. So you man. passed that one. And it's like, because it's if you're less than half, I, I'm not going to like this at all because it's going to annoy me. Because um, there's no freaking um, index here. No, uh, this is the other thing, isn't it? Yeah, I'm, I'm a little annoyed at the little lack of index. Next time we get Ben on the show, I should have a moan at him about it. Yeah, would like a index, please. Well, he doesn't even make that decision, so you can... Yell at him all you want. Well, I suppose, no, yeah, it's not fair, is it? Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's see. When to check morale? We already did that. Well, if if that's the you don't get formation shaken when you are attacked. It's only when no, you are attacked. No. Okay, I think that that's it then, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you're good there. Yeah, banish all their fears, Nordic. I've still got mine in shrink wrap because of what you said that the rule book is a little bit of a some counters as well, isn't it? Um, which is a shame. Right, it's a good system. I'm I'm enjoying it. It's a lot of fun. I like oh, this. Oh, yeah, this system. The, the banish all their fears. Ben's other new oh, thing yeah. has got some real issues with it. Yeah, you know, rule rule book wise, I think counter wise, maybe even I'm not sure even the map is uh, affected. So that stays there. Uh, I think. Oh, what we got? Uh, I can't fire my bloody cannons because. Nope, you're in the way. Everybody's in the way, but who ha ha ha? Who cares? You Let's move up. This guy right here has. Yeah, I'm just gonna say, move him up, old Essex. And I'm betting there's somebody under X Essex too. No. Yeah. Oh, here you mean the the man yeah. himself? Yeah. Yeah, we'll just move him up one, two, three, just so we can push forward next time. Mm -hmm. I think that's it, isn't it? Yep. So now it is close combat time. So let's start. So we start with these. Uh, sorry, these. Okay. Against that. Now, how does that work? Do, does each one have to attack half of it, or was it just because you're a two, two um, hex unit? I think they're both in the frontal hex. I think because they're both attacking, it's kind of a... Mm. Both kind of, page 21. Close combat. Here we go. Um, uh, a unit may only uh, so a multi hex combat. Oh, that's multi hex. Two hex. Oh, a unit may only attack one hex. Okay, combine the strength to another. 
These units may only attack a single hex. Defending a unit must occupy, that's if I attack, or have at least one hex to the center. When attacked, two hex units defend as a whole, even if the attacker is adjacent to just one of its hexes. Um, so yeah, it's it's it, you're not atta- it only fires by half and stuff like that. Yeah, right. Hey, okay. Mr. Pankeldy's here. Hey, we are doing great. Uh, Ruff's about ready to get annihilated here. Yeah, all right, all right. Don't rub it in. <laughs> okay, so no, you would um actually take both of these would attack the one and it is attacked that even if you only had one unit it attacks it as a whole right so we do what we do normally we pick the yep. lead unit which i think will be this one yep because it's not morale shaken or anything yeah, like that so good point better, good one better hit okay so no leader right. uh morale differential is a minus two for you yeah strength is a oh. minus two for you good grief right well hold on let me double check on that to make sure it's a true one to four so it's actually what eleven? Oh yeah, so it's only two to one. So it's only minus one. So you had a minus three. Oh, only minus three. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> uh, hold on, we're we're not done yet. Oh, so you are the cavassier going against the heavy infantry. That's a minus four. What? Yeah, if you look, cavassier. Oh, fine. Okay. Yeah. So you're a total minus four. I thought I thought it was two lots of uh, heavy artillery going against you. Oh, it is. It is. It is. Yeah, you're right. You're right. My bad. My bad. Three, so that's zero. Yeah. That's zero. Okay. Please. That's zero. That's zero. That's, yeah. You're my bad on that one. So we're back to minus three, which is much better. Is uh, it? Is attacker, it better? Uh, formation shaken or an open order? Nope. Uh, formation broken. Nope. Um, just fired. fired I am around shaken nope. mode. No, a defender is formation shaken. Yes, so you do get a plus one. So we're down to a minus two. Uh, the crossier is not attacking. My bad. It's not. No, it's too heavy. Oh, it's so too heavy. Too heavy uh, I, I will say that that is. I'm not thrilled with the the iconography on these. By the way, just I'm just saying. Yeah, it's just that little yeah. that, that that little diagonal shape that slash across diagonally could have been yeah. a little bit more. Yes, common. this and this is too similar. Yeah, too similar. Um. So uh, I think you just have a minus two. Minus two. Come yep. on. Let's have a nice high number. Four. Oh, so attackers, morale broken. So both of them go to morale broken. Okay, hold on. Uh... And they all take a formation hit, so I am now formation broken. And these are morale. Uh, so formation... So, and one, then you have two. to retreat two hexes, and you have to move in. Uh, yes, and then uh, luckily I'm not a cav, so how do I want to go? Yeah, I think I'll go this way. Oh, and this leader was here. Yeah, which yep. would have which would have made it different. I actually would have been the same no matter what because it would have been a minus three because Aussie's a minus one, but you would have got the same result either way. A one and a two is the same result. So yeah, because it you can only go to minus or plus four, can't you? Mm-hmm. Yep. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, Nordic, this is what we're saying. The single hex heavy infantry looks so close to the horses. Yes. Yeah. It's just gonna look for that little chevron, that little diagonal thing. They could have made that a bit yep. more prominent, I think. Yeah. Uh they could have if you ask me, they should have kept them, even though I understand it's it's the um contemporary look of it yeah well, not just that but this the reason why this has is a double hexed unit is because of the strength if you look your these strengths are very small yeah. these are very large i still think even a four unit should have a double a double on it but anyways all right okay um okay so what's next Oh, sorry. I'm just like look, reading the. the oh comment. yeah, no, go ahead. No, it's just that's fine. That's fine. So we've done that. That was a waste of time. Let's uh, try something. Hopefully, a little bit more successful. Let's try uh, this one. Okay. So what do we got under there? We. Which one we're going to have? We'll have this as the lead. 
Okay. Uh, with yeah. all four. Okay, so you're going to be leading with a uh, with a wing commander. So that that okay. So Menville, uh, Manderville, Mandeville. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, so he's your lead unit. So hold on. I think this cat is meowing. Hold on a sec. He's, he's outside. He's probably getting cold. Uh, I'll do your stuff in a minute. They want their treats, and they're not having them yet. Because I'm in the middle of a battle. What are they trying to do? Right. Distract you. Yeah. Uh, so. Okay. So starting with the top. So you have a minus one because you have a leader. Yeah. So that'll help you. Or is it no. a plus one? What is that minus one? Let's have a look. Oh, uh, I need to check for, by the way, I need to check for leader loss. By the way, uh, can the, leader, leader, oh, can you, yes, yes, it's a nine, isn't it? Yep. Oh, oh, dear. dear. Oh, no. Let, let, me just dear. let me, we're just gonna check. <laughs> oh, dear. How sad. Never mind. Six, six. Uh, what page is that? That's page six. No, no. Oh, uh, leader casualties. Okay, the leaders may be removed from play, fire combat, close combat, or stacked with cavalry unit that pursues off map. The leader is automatically removed if the enemy occupies the hex. Okay, wait, where's the? Oh, don't okay. you have to be? Don't you have to lose um, uh, units? Don't you have to lose? Don't you have to be hit? Um, to... the leader is automatically removed. Oh, sure. Uh, hold on. Leader may be removed from play if the fire play by fire combat, close combat, or if a stack with cavalry that pursues off map. A leader automatically is removed if the unit and, and impact okay. all units he is stacked with they are eliminated, or he is the target of a close combat, and the leader is alone in the hex. Okay, that's not it. Um, why does it not? Um, uh, it doesn't actually. Okay, this doesn't make any sense. They're not actually telling you what you have to do. Don't you have to uh, suffer a hit on that? I don't see. That's why I'm not seeing that. Um, so five point three is lay leader casualty and replacement, but no, uh, uh, uh. Result of no, I think it's so. Oh, I think it's only if you're alone in the hex. So let's, uh, well, close combat 21. We'll see if, if they talk about. Leader casualties. Leader may be killed. Okay, or... leader's casualty in close combat. Leader stacked with a unit that participates in close combat may become a casualty. At the end of each close combat involved a leader, roll the leader casualty table for the leader. On ah. a nine, the oh. leader becomes a casualty and is removed. Where Do they actually have a leader casualty table? Oops. Yes, on the first page of the double-sided one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So he is removed from play if a leader is stacked with a unit that. So yes, I I lost Austri. Now doesn't they come back or something? Yeah, a replacement leader. That's now we got to go back to that part where they talked about that. That's in the playbook, yeah. Well, no, nope, 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 nope. Six. Here we go. Uh, um. Leaders removed from play are either eliminated, left off the map, or doing play. During the marker removal plays, so he actually does. Um, wow, we lost a leader. So he gets sent to the eliminator, eliminated units, because he died. Great. No, no, it's good. That's good. <laughs> this <laughs> camp's like, at this point, the leader has bled out, and so is yeah. he's dead. <laughs> Uh, da, da, da. Oh, I'm not going to worry about the players were on the leader replacement table. Yeah, so that's probably in the playbook then, but that's not till the marker replacement phase. So, 
Let's see. I just want to see where that is. can't see where it is oh well let's go ahead and get oh uh, it's right there um it's right below the leader casualty table oh you mean on um return the leader immediately uh use a replacement but the original leader returns at the end of the next turn um oh and um leader eliminated from two to nine and does not return if off map use a replacement leader okay so we have to wait for that. Okay. Okay. So now, now we're here. Okay. So here we go. Let's go back to this. We were. Right. This. Okay. So uh, let's see here. So you do get a plus one. So we're doing we're doing this one, aren't we? Bang yeah. bang. And you call Belfort. So you get a plus yeah. one because that's positive for you. So you get a yeah. plus one because he has he has that. Oh, spare ribs must be a little bit must be a little bit behind. So, um, uh, let's see here. Um, ooh, I he's right. Sparely was right. I don't have. I may advance. Was it may or was it must? It's may. So okay, go amazing. Yep. Okay, sorry. Back. We'll get back to this one because I'm going to eliminate a whole bunch of stuff here. I'm thinking. Um, oh, is you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, so that'd be a plus one, I'm assuming, for the unit because the uh, you know, yeah, that's probably, yeah. There. yep. Uh, morale differential is a only a minus one, so you're back to zero. Yeah, strength is gonna be ooh. let's see, you've got three, nine, ten. Oh, it's gonna be one to one. Oh, that's all right. Yep. Uh, close combat. So oh, your head, well, your your lead units heavy versus heavy. So that's not a problem. Right. So you take the lead unit, not the yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, you can expend a pistol shot because you do have these guys here. Uh, I think it's taken. Yes, I think I will. So that's a plus one now. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And let's see here. I, I don't think. No, I'm attacking your, um, your, it's all frontal, isn't it? Yep. Uh, attacker for, no, it's not formation shaken or broken. Uh, no momentum. Is there? The cavalry momentum, or not cav, um, it is... It says uh, heavy, heavy infantry. infantry. It says heavy infantry momentum. Yeah, that's 1136. 1136. Yeah, I know there's a delay and stuff like that. 1136, attack momentum. If a heavy cav moves two hexes through or across clear terrain, which you basically have... Yeah. Or or slope hex sides only in combat. Yeah, so you do get that. So you get so a plus I, two. I get a yeah, so plus two because I get plus one for the momentum. Yep. No, uh yes, yeah, plus two. Yep. For the heavy for the heavy yep, cab. Yep, for the heavy Yep, so you get a plus two. Do I get it for the cat of uh, for the heavy archer of heavy? No, archer. the cab you changed facing. Yes, right. Okay, so it's plus two. Yep. Oh, come on. Yes, nine. Plus two is nine. Defender eliminate. Yes, get started oh. now. Oh. Wow, that hurt. Now, this cavalry here, does that have to, even though it wasn't the lead... Yeah, it so it would to... still it would you would check for pursuit on that. But they yeah. do go a bit bonkers, don't they? Yep. Uh, under a charge order, yes, they're under charge order. So that's a plus one. Didn't use momentum. It's not they're not unformed. No, it's just a plus one. Plus one, then right. Eight. Oh dear. Eight. So you pursued off map, so send them to the pursuit box, and it already eliminated. It's already eliminated. I'm trying yep. to find Yep, and um, the attacker, so these guys 
particularly this guy would have to um uh uh advance no it's this was the lead one wasn't it yeah the belfort yeah this guy was the lead one so yeah. he, he has to advance yes uh so we'll go there can i change facing uh yeah i think you can change any no, facing. I, no i won't i won't oh. okay Okay, what? Let me guess. This guy's next here. Yeah, let's do. So we've got. Uh, hold on, get out of it. We've got the two here. Yeah, attacking yep. one. Yep. Yep. Well, my morale have, one. We'll have so, this as the lead unit. Yep, you're going to get a plus four. Oh right. Why would you have that one as the lead unit? Because it's the tougher of the two. This is an eight. That's a six. But you've got to check. No, I don't have to check morale, do I? Oh, don't forget to make these guys formation oh, check. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Keep forgetting that. I would have done mine, but you eliminated it. Yeah, well, don't worry about it. Right. Thank you for that. Uh, okay, we'll do we'll do that one then. So, yes, that's... Um, I guess it really doesn't matter, but you're adding the units together, but this has a better morale. Yeah. So... Uh, it doesn't matter. You're going to be at plus four just strictly yep, because yep, I yep. have a one. And... It's those little differences between strength and morale that, yep. you know, in close combat. So plus four, blimey. Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. Yeah, he's eliminated. I thought so. And he has to move there yep. and pursue. Mm -hmm. uh, plus one. That's it because of the uh, charge order. Yep. Seven, eight, yeah. So oh, he goes off. God. Losing off on me cavalry. Yep. Come back. Now what He's only you... a two, so don't worry about it. I know, but... Uh, uh... Yeah, make sure you're sending them to pursuit. Yeah, by. I don't know. I think I have. <laughs> and now we've got... Yeah, you got plenty in there. <laughs> Actually, I got four. Um, Mark this guy, formation shaken. Oh, sorry. This guy. Yeah, there we go. Right. Okay, so, so this guy's going into that one. Yeah, I think it's just that one because these two are going after that one. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we've got. All right. So no he's morale leader. shaken. So that's a one. Hold on. You've got uh, a morale seven. So that's a minus one. Strength ratio is. Oh, that's a plus th four. Mm -hmm. So, um, no, strength ratio would be still one to one. Yeah. Oh, no, oh. two to one. Two, two to, to one. one. I'm just thinking, yeah, it's a, a two four. To one. Yeah. My addition is wrong. Yeah, no, that's fine. Two to one. So that is a plus one. So that's a plus two. Nothing on the matrix because you're both, we're both heavy infantry. No cavalry. Plus two. Oh, uh, no, I'm not heavy infantry. This is cab. Oh, again, they should put that blooming chevron a bit. Yep. So, where are we? So, uh, your heavy, uh, yeah, your heavy infantry versus light cab is a plus two. So that's a, well, that's to be plus four, isn't it? Yep. And that's going to max out. Yeah. Because I'm formation broken, which is a plus two. Yeah. So, so it maxes out at the plus four. Plus four. No. Seven. I knew he was going to be eliminated. Seven plus four would be nine plus. So uh, whatever your lead guy needs to move in. Uh, so, that one, isn't it? So. Yep. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. Because that's the only one. Yep. Formation shaken. And Todd's in the house, by the way. Hiya. Hi, Woody. Hope you're good. So now I'm just thinking in case what we got here. I'm going to turn. I'm going to rotate him. Okay. Just in case. Right. Just in case. Yeah, right. This guy's gone. Well, we kiss of death now. Right. So it doesn't matter who's the lead one because they're exactly the same. Exactly the same. Yep. So we've got 
morale differential. What's your morale? Uh, oh, seven. So it's a minus one. Yep. Strength ratio. That's got to be. That's uh, fourteen to two. That's got to be four to one. One. <laughs> uh, so I get a plus one. one for my leader, or minus one for my leader. So that's hold on. Let's hold on. Hold on. That's a plus one, plus three. So it's now down to plus two. Close combat matrix is nothing. Uh, heavy plus two. Oh, no, that's, that's, that's another cav, isn't it? Yep. Heavy infantry against cav is. So that's that's plus four again. Oh no, crap! I screwed that up. It doesn't matter. It's plus what? one. It's plus one. Not yes, it's plus one. one. I think yep. I got through enough. Yes, that's why. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, for. yeah, yeah. Plus he's formation shaken. It's plus four again. Yeah. Are you using a pistol to bring it down to plus three? Yes, I will do that. In my death throws, I'm gonna throw my. I'm gonna shoot, get one shot out. Yep. Uh, I've got nothing else to bring it back up to four. Have I? No. Nope. Plus three. Plus three, come on. Oh, six. Six. Defender morale shaken. Okay. Okay, hold on. Morale shaken. Okay. Uh, I need to retreat two hexes. Um, which I can do. I can go one, two. Yeah. Um. And uh, I do need to do another leader loss check. The leader casualty. Oh no! Oh, Tony! <laughs> oh my <Tony>. god! <laughs> yeah, we added the plus one for leader. Yep. Oh my god. Okay, so he would go to the eliminate. Okay, for right now, we do check that at the end of the turn to see at if the end of turn, if he comes back. You know, yep. they patch his wounds up, he comes back, or you get a replacement, or you get replacement and they patch his wounds up a bit longer or something, isn't it? So. Yep. Uh, oh, I got formation it. broken now. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, yeah, yeah, Nordic. I think it's safer to jump into the active lava flow than be a commander <laughs> under my charge. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, it's good. It's all good. Um, and then you've got to move one of your units into that hex. Uh, which one what have we got here? These two, isn't it? So I think we'll move this one here. Block. I think Man. they'll be. On a... I think I think you're right on this. I think I will. I would lose this one. I mean, let's. I'm going to zoom out so everybody can see how bad this is. Like, yes, this side's not too bad, but nope. this this wing is gone. This area is. Which, which uh, last time you were eliminating my right wing. Yes. And I thought, well, I thought they were just, you know, but now they can sort of, the remnants of the right wing can now move around and flank your bits and pieces that are still hanging on there. So, you know, they can come around, sort of, you know, deal with, you know, these here. Yeah. While these sort of maybe move off, you know, in, in this direction, you know, yep. so... Yep, and then we've got, and then you've got all these guys coming up this way. By losing this one unit right here, you've that opened really up, hurt. Yeah, you've opened up a bit of a gap there, haven't you? So I can flank maybe. Yeah. No, so and I mean, th I mean, this uh, left flank is a little bit. We'll see a little bit iffy. Yep. Um, you got rid of one of my cows. So I've got this. These musketeers up here are going to come down and attack your flank they, here so they can't they can't remember if they even approach if they come adjacent at all oh of course it's that blooming one one doobry what's name yep. thing isn't it yeah one yep. strength yeah yep so but my my big thing is is you have quite a bit right here the only thing is the strength is not there to go against yeah. some of these guys and, and the only thing you is them, I, if you it, get them it, together it's not as bad so like this right here going against here that's only a two to one so that's only what a plus one so yeah. that's not too bad and if you throw if you throw like another unit in there it's a one to one yeah so oh the reason why we're kind of finishing this up this is kind of, we're kind of finishing it up right now anyways and so um we're gonna call it um which is interesting 
I will, it, it'd be interesting to play out, but I can see me losing. <laughs> well, I think if we were playing this face to face as yeah. well, we'd go, what should we do? Let's we try let, let's put let's get another game out, you know. Let's yeah. uh, we'll we'll see. Yeah. Uh, or if we had time, now we know what we're doing a bit more, we might reset this and play it again. So um but as we've uh, as I, I, and, and Sam, I am doing this. I am running away. So <laughs> <laughs> well, you've lost two leaders. Yes. I know I you may get them back. Yeah, I may get them back. Oh, here, you know what? Hold on. I I, I got this here. Let me put this back up. Because I'm gonna roll just for this so people can see if I would have got the leaders back. Okay. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, leader replacement. So uh, we've got one unit. So uh, let me see here. So let me. I'm going to pull up the uh, two leaders that were nicely eliminated. Thank you very much. So this guy right here and Austri right here. So these guys were the ones that were eliminated. So we'll do Austri first. Run away! Run away! <laughs> um, so we'll go ahead and roll. I got it. Oh, Leader eliminated. eliminated. Yep. So I would have to actually use a replacement, um, whoever that yep. was. Use a replacement leader. Sometimes you don't get one. Wilmont, do you? Wilmont, here we go. Was also gone. So uh basically you have to roll a zero or a one to do anything. Yeah. That is some, not sometimes good. you don't get a replacement leader in some scenarios. Oh, yep. So, so they they couldn't do anything. They can't move they can't move to all because you know that i think their orders do they keep the same order or are they not sure if they're leaderless no they always there's always a leader you get a replacement leader it's always uh, is it i thought like, i must be thinking yeah, something more. yeah you always get it but it's like a replacement leader um i'm curious here so if we did see who so i'm the warless so will that be in the playbook um i'm Thinking it's just a colonel. <laughs> um, what a sort of nondescript colonel, yeah. Yep, yep. Because there's a colonel right here, so I think that. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Who replaces it? So I'm curious here. Replacement colonel. Yep, it's yeah. just a just a colonel. Yep. So. So, but yep, it was it, it was a good time. I, yeah, I yeah, I know we we stuttered, especially me stuttering along. But it, again, it's a learning process, and um, I hope it was a benefit to others who don't know the game as well as uh, some of some of our guys in the chat. So, um, well, and well, and that's the thing with some of these games is that they are set up to um, they're they're not really short. <laughs> If you know what I mean, it's not a short game. You know, it's no. not like our uh, uh, commands and colors or anything like that. When when it can be done, that it might quick. be if we play play it a lot, then it would. Then we know yeah, that's better. true. Yeah, but even so, you know. Yeah. So I am the killer of leaders. Yes, yeah. I cannot disagree with that at all. One hundred percent there. Um, but no, the, I do like the system. I'm going to dig into it a little bit more. I think play a little bit, maybe do some solo stuff. I don't know. Yeah, but I, I yeah, I enjoy it. It's it's it is that next step up from Men of Iron, but not yeah. quite GBOH. It definitely is that. There's a little bit more to it. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love the way they you know they 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 feel they they can take the Mickey. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's I'll tell you what. It's it, it goes pretty easily and. um if you're wondering, there are some really good. Uh, uh, Joel Toppin did a great series on how to play it. It is with the older system, yeah. but I don't think there's much on the rules at that point that's much different. Do you know what? At the back of the play, at the back of the rules, you've got the uh, changes to the other the other boxes, the other, right? The other yeah. ones in the thing. Yeah, so um, they've got the changes for the under the lily banners, um, the Adustifagos of the Great. Yeah, so they've got the errata for the other two. That yeah, they, if you've got the old one but got these new rules, it's got the, yep. the changes. But there isn't any for these two. There aren't any errata. So if you've got the old one, it's still the same. Um, there's no errata for it. 
-hmm. but they are bringing out what's the next ones are bringing out under oh, the name, under god the name. i looked that up that up last time ralph why yeah. are you making me think again oh go oh, i'm sorry i'm on i'm on i'm on holiday right now come on holiday <laughs> oh, have you broken up for the summer yes a long yeah, time can ago you, can you let the people this side you know that the the, the motherland uh, some of for some of you is the motherland over there let them know that we'd like a bit of that as well summer oh Crazy. yeah yeah that, would, that would, i i yes i think so dual pack two is going to be under the lily banners and augusta adolf the, right augusta adolf the great yeah so yeah, those yeah. are the ones that are next yes i have so. all of that because again you get quite a bit of stuff in it um, I like playing this because of the American, uh, American, the English Civil War. Yeah, yeah, which uh, you know. I don't know about. much about the Swedish side of things, but that would be interesting to play because there's some different mm -hmm. rules there. You've got the Croats and all that sort of thing, I think, haven't you, uh, in that? Oh, yeah. The, yeah, there's, there definitely looked like there were some different things as well. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't want to get demonetized by playing a game, a song that... <laughs> Green Day, Green Schmay. My daughter used to love them when she when they first came out. I know you can move cannons. I know this is the problem. Once they're there, they're there, aren't they? Yeah. Um, uh, in the Swedens, you can actually move the cannons. Yeah, like that. Yep, we yeah. got to keep at a walking pace, definitely. So, but. Well, I've started, uh, so I've started my research for my history thesis, um, which I'm doing, um, trying to figure out on the Battle of Fallen Timbers. I'm trying to narrow it down to a few different topics, but uh, generally it has to do with the British. And That's so cool. the Battle of Fallen Timbers happened on the, um, uh, in the Northwest Indian Wars, which was 1791 through 1794. Uh, and the Battle of Fallen Timbers was the last battle of that war. And is that the, sorry, is that the ones that um, what they called did a little battle fall at folio. Yes, I actually have that. Yes, yes, high flying dice. High has, flying dice. Yes, as one. Yes. Um, and so, but there's also a uh, John Paninsky did a whole game called Blood on the Ohio, which has to do with that particular whole war. Yeah, uh, the whole war on that one. The campaign on that one so um but in the battle of fallen timbers they were saying the british was supposed to help them the native americans that is because the friend of my enemy is my enemy or the friend of my the enemy of my enemy is my friend i think that's the one. yeah yeah yep. so they actually built for miami which is not is about six miles away from here um and actually anthony Gen general wayne actually decided that it was too tough to take so they went back to a different fort um <laughs> but when the native american warriors came back to get help from them they said nope so kind of uh um kind of doing that type of thing uh you know so i'm trying to figure out why the british chose not to help well, them they, they had the kettle on and uh once, once it was the tea time on, everything was stopped yep. yeah so I'm looking at uh, the past history. Did they actually help the Native Americans throughout the entire war? So was it something that they should have expected that had happened previously? And they were told that it would. And then second, did the commander have an issue with the fact that they were Native Americans and not, you know, like another country or something along those lines? So kind of I've got a, I've got a lot of research to do. So I get to read a lot of military history from that time period. So I'm kind of excited about that. So but yep. My professor thought it was a great topic. So whether I can pull it off or not, I don't know. But I do I have to. Is the professor male or female? Female. Oh, just a few little little Tony smiles will do oh, it. Don't worry. Uh, it's all online. She's she's a very, very good historian. Um, I've had her, this is I've had her for three for two other classes. This is my third class with her, and then she'll be my advisor in the fall. So she got her doctorate from michigan state which is about uh two hours away from where i am at so very good history program she likes local history she likes it, us doing local projects so the fact that i live here is great that's, good. that's cool yeah so uh it's for my uh nordic it's for my master's uh in education and teaching history um so my goal is to become the foremost expert of the Battle of Fallen Timbers in the area, one of them at least. Uh, so, so your yeah. speciality thing is that Indian uh, war, yeah? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really the Native Americans just in general uh, interest me because I see a lot of similarities from other conflicts and other things going around. Um, a lot of tribalism, no pun intended, uh, literally tribalism. And I see that in a lot of different uh, conflicts where it helps and hurts. Uh, one particular um, I think you can do something on is in, is how uh, the structure of the tribal the tribes was similar to the structure of like the Confederacy in the South, where it was kind of all about the state, and the state was more worried about themselves than about the whole and country. The, the bigger, bigger picture. They start yeah. together, but as as things get frayed, they start to split up, and that's I think that's what has what happened with a lot of the conflict. Well, of, of course, a lot of the thing with tribal things is that before we came along, you guys came along, and. Uh, they were fighting each other. Tribes tend to fight each other for for area, for space. Yeah, David has a question here. I'll be right back. I want to grab the two books that I'm focusing on. Oh, blimey. Right. Oh, by the way, if you're around tomorrow, it's the War Room. So don't forget. And the subject, uh, I'll be hosting it. Subject is, how do you learn a new war game? What are your secrets? Because uh, what we're trying to do is find out how people learn a new war game Uh and that I think would be of interest, especially to people who don't play many war games or want to get into it. Little help, help uh, tips, helps, hints and tips. So that's what's going on. 9 p.m. British proper time and uh, 4 p.m. Eastern. Eastern and 1 p.m. Pacific. So the first book, by the way, this is a <laughs> Osprey publishing book. So quite well known. And it's actually Fallen Timbers. <laughs> So it's a book on the thing yeah. rather than, yeah. Now, um, this one is going to cover, and I just purchased it the other day. This one's going to actually cover the entire period, and it's called Autumn of the Black State. Hey, David. Uh, Washington, George Washington, Mad Anthony Wayne, and the invasion that opened the West. So this is the about the whole... From 1783, kind of the through the whole uh, North uh, West Indian Wars. So, uh, let's see here. I'm just looking here if they got. So, yeah, Sinclair's Retreat, which was like the first. And then all the way through Fallen Timbers, Black Granite. So, um, this is kind of a more of a, um, uh, a overall. And what's nice. A longer, longer sort of period. Yeah, it, it's over the whole thing. How does that fit in between your war of independence with us and this conflict starting? It actually was a precursor to the War of 1812. So Fort Miami and Fort Detroit were still British controlled. And so it's like right in between. It's basically before you guys get involved with France again. Before the big, what they call the very first world war started. Yeah. Yeah. With the French, so this is 1790 through 1794, um, and so it's they. I and the battlefield is right, real close. Because you've got the Napoleonic or the or the rev, or their Revolution War starting, haven't you as well? Mm-hmm. France, yep. The Napoleonic War. So it's all that. It was a very, very uh, hostile time. For yeah, us, it was. Anyway. With, What's interesting is, as I was reading about, so one of the American generals, General Wilkinson, actually uh, was a Spanish spy, go figure, of all of all places. And uh, Anthony Wayne actually caught him uh, getting money from the Spanish <laughs> because he was giving the Spanish, who at that point owned the Louisiana Purchase. It was before the French took control, before he bought it from the French, because eventually the Spain, Spain, they took it from Spain. Yeah, that whole thing. Um, so they were doing it and then he was getting money for telling the Spanish what the Americans were trying to do moving well, they were sort of on your side, weren't they? The Spanish and the French were sort of on your side. Yeah, during, uh, you, you still got to keep an eye on your friends sometimes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know. It's like the saying they have in the Houses of Parliament over here when uh, it's a, a story when a young member of Parliament joined sitting um, on the benches and um, he said, uh, because the ones behind you are like the backbenchers, yeah, the ones that don't have a have a, um, a role to play. They're just MPs. And the 
ministers all sit and the back benches sit at the back, hence back benches. And the young um, MP said, I suppose uh, those across the way there, those are your enemy. He said, no. And he pointed behind him. He said, those are you, because they're going to stab you in the back at the end of the opportunity, you know. So I can't find this game. I want to play this that. Is, now, tell you what. Have a word. If this is the one from the uh, the magazine, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. against have the, a word with please. He found it found it a little bit frustrating. There's a lot of roll the die rolling and all that. Mm -hmm. um, so have a word with him about it because um, they're bringing out a new a sort of sequel to it as well, aren't they? Yeah, it's a little bit later, if I remember right. Yeah, yeah it's like yep, yeah, later on on that one. So, but well, it's uh, it's uh, it's it's dinner time here. Uh, Ruff, you've already had dinner, so uh, yes. you can go on and play some Age of Empires. Or some. I do uh, love that game. It's so cheesy, but I do love it. it. It's funny because I'm on. Uh, I've got my Steam up, and I'm like, it's like Rough Swordsman playing Age of Empires. Yeah, it's when I've had enough videoing or editing, I go, yeah, so I just can play Age of Empires for a bit because I can do it blindfolded. Yeah, it's just like yep. autopilot. I've had yep. it. I had it originally on the on the CD when I had my old oh, computer. Oh, yep, yep. I still have the CDs. I have yeah, Age of Empires I three. I think it. it's what it is. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I think I might. Uh, play a bit of magic, the gathering on arena, or magic, the uh, the arena gathering magic. Yeah, thanks guys. I hope you hope you enjoyed it all. Um, as I say, we, we we're learning as we go along, and that's the whole point of this. It's just me and Tony having fun, and you sort of looking over our shoulders mm -hmm. and giving us advice. Uh, I would say it depends on the school. Um, that's all I can say. I don't know. A lot of them don't even do the testing anymore. Uh, so you'd have to take a look at the school. It may look at more into history. They might want to see some writing. I'm not 100% sure, so it, it, it can vary. So, But with that, Ruff, Chad, yeah, everybody, you. have a great weekend. Is the show on your show on your yeah, channel? I'm, I'm hosting tomorrow. You're yeah. hosting tomorrow? So okay. that's uh, 9 p.m. over here yep. and uh, 4 p.m. Eastern. Yep. So uh, no games next week, so Ruff will have to figure out what we want to play in two weeks. Okay. On, on the, I think it's the 26th, I think, of July is is that date. So Yeah, that sounds um, good. We'll figure out what we want to play. Maybe something we go back to that we've played already so we can just have some fun on that. So we can we can just do that. So we'll see what we can do. Yeah, so, that'll be. Yeah, okay. All right. Nice have, one. Have a think on that. So, all right. <laughs> Flying colors. <laughs> <laughs> who knows? That's not a bad idea. So, yeah, all right. That'll we'll see everybody later. Hope to see you tomorrow, guys. Yep.